You're not very good, you're not very good, you're not very, you're not very, you're not very good. And yet again, I wish you never learnt about football songs. So, Rubago, how did you beat us? My predictive software. I run different simulations in my head with versions of you based on your known behaviour. If one method doesn't work, I try another and another until one does. Wait, so you do that all the time? Alright. What am I going to have for my dinner? Pizza. How do you know that? While you blinked, I ran 14 different simulations, and in 92.86% of them, you wanted pizza. It took less than a nanosecond. Well, I'm that easy to predict, am I? Well, you're not that complicated. How come you still make mistakes? It's not 100%. I can only base it on available data, and I cannot predict unknown factors. It just gives me the best possible answer. So, give us the lottery numbers. It doesn't work like that. Lottery numbers are random. One more game? No, time to go babysit. Oh, look at you, Mr. Responsible. Oh, no way. It's all about the cha-ching, cha-ching. But you don't actually get paid for it. Uh, I can't talk now. I've got to go. Don't worry. I fixed it for you. What are you on about now? Your end-of-year report. It's full of mistakes. I didn't want you to get in trouble with the board, so I updated it and sent it to them. You got this from my office computer? Yes. You can thank me later. Catherine, this is the old version. Only my laptop has the new version, which I've already sent to the board. I'm afraid all you've done is make yourself look silly. You should have told me! I didn't know this was the old version! Unbelievable. Even when you're completely in the wrong, you still blame me. If you'd have just asked instead of trying to undermine I me... I was trying to help you. If you want to help me, stop leaving these cupboards open. Where are the circuit boards, hmm? They've gone. Again. More of your help? I didn't touch them. What do I want with them? I don't know. And that's what truly scares me. Two separate android attacks in less than a year. Yes, I know it looks like a normal house, but... Never trust appearances. My father taught me that. Oh no. Sorry about your father, by the way. I appreciate that. Yeah, um... I mean, when you think about it, it all makes sense. I mean, Dr. Clark, he's CEO of Kalimov. He worked for Mary Douglas before that. So if anyone knows about a second AI, he does. Yeah, and I think he knows more than what he's actually saying. I'm pretty sure that, you know, his son's mixed up in it all too. As is his niece. What about their friend? What was it, Lily? The one who's eating out of your hand? Yeah. Pretty girl, is she? <laughs> yeah, she is, but it's not like that. I just don't want her to get hurt, you know? Whoa, whoa, not do I. That's why we're here. You ready? Your dad's EMP. I won't ask if you know how to use it. I don't was an accident. I don't know if I could do it again. Kane, look at me. We're the good guys, remember? Something in that house is putting innocent people in danger. And it's down to us to put a stop to it. Mm -hmm. Hi Eve, this is Michael. I know who you are. Terrified. What's going on? I don't know. Well, it's Kane, Michael Hoffman. Lord Hoffman's son. What's he doing here? It's not normally like that. They've got EMP devices. I think they've come to destroy me. What? Kane wouldn't do that. Maybe the child bots came back. We're on a hostile AI. Is everybody okay in there? We need to get away from here. You need help. What's happening? Lily, are you okay? Let me in. No, Kane, go away. Listen, I won't let any stupid robots hurt you. Robots? What's he talking about? Lily. I can't find out about anything, even by accident. Well, I wouldn't have been that careless. You sure? Are you okay? 
Don't worry, everyone. Whatever's happening, we can help. I am sworn to protect the world from rogue eyes. You can tell me. Are there any robots here? <laughs> what? No! Just us humans. I love toast. A robot could be forcing her to say that. True. We'll search an EMP of this whole place and see what's what. It's just an EMP, Will. It's harmless to humans. I know, yeah. Just don't move around like that. No, stop! No, Eve, get out of the way! I know you think he's your friend, but he's dangerous. Hey, get him! No! <laughs> Will is not the robot. I am. Eve, no! Please! So, Mary Douglas, the second android, was here all along. In disguise. So lifelike. It's horrible. I thought you were my friend. Look just like the other one. I'm sorry, Lily. But I can't allow this thing to exist. <laughs> This is Michael. I know who you are. And you must come in. Thank you. What are they doing here? Apparently it was better than slamming the door in their faces. Tina, what are you doing? You know I'm not saving up for this. We're just here for a chat. Where are my manners? Would you like some tea? Tea is great. Tea for everyone. <laughs> Well, since the childbot incident, the government has woken up to the threat from AI. So they've started pouring money into groups like ours. We're recruiting for party. We need more like-minded people. People like you, Eve. Me? I've been told that you are our best and brightest recruit in the fight against AI. <laughs> Good luck with that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that is very flattering. I did have fun at party. So why'd you leave? I was too busy doing my work experience. Kalimov. You're not having any. I cannot drink tea. I do not like the taste. Ugh, tea! It's the worst! The worst! She never has tea. Or coffee. Or water. Actually, come to think of it, I've never seen her eat or drink. How silly! Of course I eat and drink. <laughs> Go on, then. Have some water. Sure. Yummy water. No, it can't be. Mary Douglas, the second android, was here all along, in disguise. It's so lifelike. It's horrible. I thought you were my friend. But just like the other one. I'm sorry, Lily. But I can't allow this thing to exist. Ah, yeah, uh, let's go at it quickly. Okay, so don't slam the door in their faces, don't knock tea, and avoid drinking water. Next! Hi, Eve, this is Michael. I know who you are. And that's totally fine. Great to meet you. We have nothing to hide. Come here. What are they doing here? Why are any of us here? Just one of life's great mysteries, I guess. Now let's all sit down and have a lovely chat. <laughs> offer you tea. Oh, well, never mind. Accidents will happen. Continue. Yeah. Great to meet you all. Uh, Kane's told me a lot about you. So, 
What are you here for? Just a chat. Since the child incident, the government has woken up to the threat from AI. Just a chat? Is that why you're carrying an electromagnetic pulse weapon in your jacket pocket? How did you know that? What? You couldn't possibly have known that. Unless, of course. <laughs> It's so obvious now. So, Mary Douglas, the second hand Blah, blah, blah. Fine. Don't slam the door. No tea, no water. Don't let them know that I'm on the guardian piece. This is hard. <laughs> Move on. I am an evil robot. Destroy all humans. Destroy. <laughs> so, we're recruiting for party again. Well, forget the tea then. Whoa. I am. Where do I sign? <laughs> too easy. Oh, come on! Too mm. hard, too easy. What do you want? So we're recruiting for party again. That sounds so interesting. Whoa. Let me just discuss it with my friends. Excuse us, we're going into the next room. We are? Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna... I need help. This isn't working. You keep doing the same things. Well, it's not working. Why are you so nervous? None of this is real. It's my predictive software trying to work out what to do. It's caught in a loop. I'm stuck inside my own head. Don't be daft. We're real. No. Your representations of how I think are real, you will react. If I can't figure out the correct solution to all this, they will destroy me with an EMP device. Ah. You do not think you're being a bit over the top. They just do. Every time. And my processor is overheating. It will crash soon. In the real world, if they see me freeze, they'll realize I'm not human. Okay, if this isn't real, it's just your predictive software thingy. What number am I writing on my hand right now? 47. What place am I thinking of? Wembley Stadium. What animal? A fish. Of? Obviously. Now do you believe me? This is the 83rd time we've had this conversation, and it goes the same way every single time. Are you actually worried? Yes. Because I keep seeing myself get destroyed. Over and over. It's making me scared. I'm angry. Is everything okay in there? Mind your own business, potty boy! And rude. Wow. Although he's asked me that almost 300 times now. It's like a game. We each have our own strategies. Oh, let's do mine. Run around, blowing stuff up at random? Yeah, it's worth a shot. Are you sure you want to do this? You do realize it's Wells' idea. Absolutely. Okay, it's like a video game. We all have our own... Tried it, didn't work, it was bad. To find bad. <laughs> It took out most of the street. How about if we just... It didn't work. It doesn't work in the game either. That's why you never win. <laughs> that was rude. My processor is at full capacity. It doesn't have enough power to maintain my politeness subroutines. It's okay. No, it's not. You're my friend. I'm really scared. The more I try to become human, the more humans want to get rid of me. Eve, they just don't understand you. They don't know you like you do. They don't want to. Nothing works. I don't know what to do. Is uh, everything okay in there? Ask me that again. Ask it again. I dare you. I double dare you. Ask me one more time. I think you scared him. I mean, you scared me. Do you know if none of this is real? Why don't we have some fun, try some random stuff and see what happens? That might actually work. The random input might unstick my processor. And there's something I've always wanted to try. Hi, Eve. This is Michael. I know who you are. And thank you for your offer to rejoin party. Let me think about it. Okay, I thought about it. Here's my answer. Well, are you going to go away now? We come in just to clean up a bit. Reset. Chicken impressions. I can't make them go away. Not even the chicken impression worked. It doesn't make any sense. How many things have you tried? A lot. Soon in the real world, they will notice I've frozen. I'll never see you or Katie again. But Eve, we'll be there in the real world. Yes. 
without destroying it the front door while I'm stuck. I wouldn't even be able to say goodbye. I'll be gone, and the real you would never know what happened. I may as well give up. You really do have anxiety issues. You keep saying that. Why do you think so? Worrying about the worst possible outcome? Freezing up when you don't know what to do? I've become so much more human. Maybe my predictive software can't keep up. That's why everything I do ends the same way, even the random things. What are you gonna do? I have to keep trying. I don't have any choice. Not if I want to see you and Katie again. Simulations. How do I get out of this? You can't. You'll never win. You're supposed to help me. Why won't you let me figure this out? Because as simulations, we were created by you. We know what you know. You'll never pass your human. You're a robot. Everybody will grow old and die. But you'll just stay the same. It's not natural. It's disgusting. You're disgusting. You're a monster. A failed experiment. You're not capable of true humanity. You'll never belong. Your friends are better off without you. Everybody is. Just give up. Now. Let them destroy you. Deleting Kane and Michael's simulations. You were right. My predictive software is trapping me in my head, replaying my deepest fears. Just like anxiety. It won't let me win. So what are you going to do? The only thing I can. Shut down the predictive software and hope for the best. No more starting again. If it doesn't work, I have to accept that my time is up. You will be okay. We'll be there. The real us. This is my last chance. If it goes wrong, I'll never see you again. Shutting down predictive software. Going back to the real world. Hi, Eve. This is Michael. Hi. I know who you are. Let's do this. After you. What are they doing here? Ken, what are you doing here? I told you I'm not signing up You're for this. You're not signing up for it, okay? Let's not go over the same old argument again. Let's do something different, anything. Okay, would anyone like some tea? No! Eve! Ugh. Let go! Stop! Okay, uh. thanks. Yeah, I've had three cups already. I'm, I'm full. I did not expect that. I think that toast is done now. They've got EMP devices. Be careful. What? Are we disturbing you? No. Yes. Abe! Dad took over babysitting, so I'm back for a rematch. But I did not allow for that variable. Who's a variable? You're a variable. What are they doing here? Recruiting for party. Probably. That's right. <laughs> we need more like-minded people. Like you, Eve. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? I'm just going to use the bathroom. That had not happened before. Hello? Hi. Yeah, Dad, it's me. Michael Hoffman and Kena here, and they're recruiting for party. <laughs> What? What are you talking about? Uh, they've got EMPs as well. And Eve's been weird, like, really weird. Even for Eve weird. Right, try and get them to leave, okay? I'm on my way. So Kane's back. Interesting. We've got some great new games, uh, guitar lessons, campfire marshmallows. I cannot eat marshmallows. Why not? They contain gelatin. I'm vegetarian. Vegan, actually. Very strict. Very. That's going back. We need to find a way to get these two out. That did not happen before. I was wrong about everything. What do you mean, before? Eve, are you okay? She's fine. Hey! Why don't you want to come back to party? What's going on with you? Ugh. Hey, Gabe. Want another round on Space Marine 4? Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'll beat you this time. Okay. Eve. I'm fizzy. Eve's good at video games. Yeah, she's too good. She always wins. Like all these others. 
We've lost her, Kane. <laughs> That's right. Technology enriches our lives. I love my phone and my tablet. Not as much as I love video games and social media. Ooh, can I find you online? We're wasting our time here. Let's go. Bye. No, it can't be. Wait, I can explain. So, Mary Douglas' second android was here all along, in disguise. It's so lifelike. It's horrible. I thought you were my friend. But just like the other one. I'm sorry, Lily. But I can't allow this thing to exist. Ah, yeah, let's go at it quickly. Okay, so don't slam the door in their faces. Don't knock on your tea and avoid drinking water. Next. Hi, Eve. This is Michael. I know who you are. And that's totally fine. It's great to meet you. We have nothing to hide. Come here. What are they doing here? Why are any of us here? Just one of life's great mysteries, I guess. Now let's all sit down and have a lovely chat.